huyu hata Laila mwambieni aache hizi tabia. Hii tabia ya kuzubua watu kila asubuhi haina maana. Haina. Unaamuka asubuhi kusubua watu. Yaani ukichukua hii ile watu wana wa Kenya wanagojea ni subua tu. Mkenya akikuona na hii anajua we ni shi? ni shida. Na that he should know that when we see Laila with a microphone we expect trouble. In this country nothing else. His mouth never comes out nothing peaceful comes from his mouth. Ni vile tu atareta vita Kenya. Na miaka yake mtu ameenda kuoga miaka tamanini. Na wakati wote akichikia hii ni vi ni vita. Hata kama wengine you know the worst thing that can happen to you or to me as Kioni. Ni kushika hii watu kutoka eneo lingine waanze kufikiria kwamba nitasema vita ianze. It does not matter whether at home you are loved. At his level he should be loved across the country. And we should stop being fearful of him. It is his responsibility to make sure that Kenyans from this part of the country are not fearful of him. Na kama hajui sisi tunamuogopa tukimuona tunaona vita Kenya. Kweli ama si kweli? And he must stop it. At his age mzee lika yake kila akisimama tunaanza kuogopa kesho itakuwa namna gani Kenya hiyo haina maana we don't want that from him nisembe lingine haunitoa Kenya hii tuna vikudi vingi ambazo serikali ilisema ni vikudi vya haramu muongeki mnaijua si serikali isema ni haramu shinkororo unajua si unajua shinkororo Sungu sungu unaielewa. Sio unaelewa sungu. Baghdad boys. Hizo vikudi zote ni zile vikudi ukisikia unasikia vi vita. Sasa iko ingine inaitwa R N R M. N R M mungeki, sungu sungu, chinkororo, Baghdad boys, Mombasa Republic nami wote wako katika kudi moja. Kwetu ni watu wa vita watu ataki watu waichi kwa amani na mahakama yetu serikali inaposema ya kwamba haya, haya makudi si ya mazuri kwa amani ya Kenya pia mahakama wafikirie sana mambo ya kutoa orders kusema wacha hiyo watoa hiyo huyu atebe namna hiyo hiyo pia ni hatari kwa Kenya so even as we commit ourselves to obeying court orders and I am a believer that we should obey court orders. The court should also make sure that orders coming from them are not making it difficult for the governance of this country. Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, the president of this republic, has a responsibility to look after us, all of us. Wote waliopiga kura, wenye hawa kupiga, wenye walimpigia, wenye hawa kumpigia, wo wote and to ensure that this country is handed over to the next president 2022 he cannot be able to do that with unnecessary court orders we have too many court orders some of them conflicting na zinatoka kama risasi asubuhi iko hii jioni iko hii hata jumapili unapatana na court order you know what we can't allow we have three arms of government we have the judiciary we have the executive now we have the the gesture. We cannot allow the judiciary to micromanage executive. And we don't want the executive to micromanage the judiciary equally for the legislature. But what I see from where I am, we are now micromanaging the executive. Hiyo sio jabo nzuri. 